Traveling the world is a fantastic experience. Having the chance to study and travel at the same time is priceless. Being immersed in a culture while working hard to expand your mind is a beautiful opportunity. So how do you decide if you want to take advantage of studying abroad and when? Hi, I'm Margaret Meek, and this is the How-Tos of Study Abroad. Studying in another country is a way to expand your education through courses, lectures, and research with a new set of instructors in a new country and in a new culture, all paired with immersive language opportunities. If you can adapt, focus on your studies in an exciting new environment, and take care of yourself, studying abroad brings exciting challenges and opportunities. Please note that while there are full college experiences available for studying in a college in a foreign country, for this discussion, we are presenting options for shorter term educational experiences. You must demonstrate a few attributes if you desire to study in another country. It would help if you had a good grade point average to confirm that you are ready for the academic challenge. You also need to have a strong language skill level for the country you will study in. And as you will be away from the family and your safety net, you need to be adventurous. That means not only being able to take care of yourself, but you can take advantage of your location to travel and have new experiences. And you must be mature enough to monitor your behavior so as not to bring embarrassment onto your home school, the school where you're taking classes, and your country. There are many ways to complete study abroad. Some are a part of the school you are currently attending, some are a semester at an overseas university, and one attractive option is semester at sea. It should be noted that some study abroad programs are available for high school students or those taking a gap year, though most travel programs focus on college students. The vast majority of study abroad programs offer college credits. So what are the options for timing your study? There are programs available for an entire year, a semester, a summer term, or during the intercession between terms. It would help if you decide what level of time commitment before you start shopping. Another overarching decision you have to make is about the level of immersion you wish to have in the language and the culture. Do you want to live in a residence hall or apartment or live with a family? Then decide if you want to stay in one country or a series of countries. The benefit of staying in one country is that you can immerse yourself in the school and the country while having time to travel for recreation and experience? Or do you want to visit several ports of call with classes on your ship of residence and lectures and learning opportunities at each stop? There are three ways to become involved in a study abroad program. The first is through third-party vendors. These groups are not tied to your school. Some of these companies specialize in recent high school graduates or they allow for experiences your college is not offering. A search will help you not only find exchange programs, but to investigate the viability of each. Second, you can contact your school. If you are in college, your academic advisor is a great place to start. They can not only speak to you about the opportunities in your field, but they can also refer you to the Campus Study Abroad Advisor. Colleges sponsor trips, recommend private business trip opportunities, and have information on the Semester at Sea programs. As you enter the process, Make sure you can utilize credits earned towards your degree, or that the experience is so strong that it balances missed time working toward your degree. It should also be noted that there are campuses and degree programs that require or facilitate travel for each student. If that is true for your school, great. You will still need to decide if you want a larger or longer experience with study abroad. The third option is a semester at sea program. Semester at sea programs involve students being housed on large ships. The itinerary allows for stops at any number of ports along the path. During the excursions, students have experiential learning opportunities and participate in in-depth learning experiences. While on board, between ports, students take classes such as Global Studies and can earn up to 12 credits. A sample itinerary would include embarking in early September in Amsterdam, Netherlands. The ports of call would include Portugal, Morocco, Spain, Croatia, Greece, Cyprus, Suez Canal Transit, Jordan, Kenya, and India. Disembark takes place just before Christmas in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. 
Faculty are on the ship with the students. They include professors and associate professors from various U.S. colleges and universities. Staff also includes counselors, the health team, and more. Special instructors participate in the excursion courses. There is an application and selection process associated with most study abroad programs. Ensure you know all the important deadlines and qualifications, including a baseline GPA, generally above a 3.25, language experience, etc. Make sure the time you are gone from your home campus does not create academic issues for you in the long run. For example, if you need a course for graduation that is only taught during a particular semester, you want to travel during another term so that you don't miss that class. Once you decide what kind of study abroad you would like, you need to figure out the costs. Some schools offer to underwrite study abroad travel to lower the price. There is also funding available from Semester at Sea and the third-party vendors. Some funding is available from the U.S. government. See the link below this video to be taken to the Nest website where you will find the links for this video. One of those links provides more information on how the government might be able to help you fund this adventure. Costs will vary by location, length, and the activities you choose to engage with. You will still be paying tuition and need to pay for room and board, textbooks, laundry, and personal trips. Also, to and from travel is on you. Check with your scholarships to see if they will help pay for your study abroad experience. You can also check for outside scholarships specific to study abroad or that do not exclude study abroad costs. There are search opportunities that will glean more scholarship opportunities such as the Fund for Education Abroad, which funds first-generation college students, minorities, and community college learners. Semester at Sea is a good example of controlling costs. It can cost between $55,000 to $22,000. The price difference is based on what type of room you want, single or double occupancy, and the excursion courses you utilize. Once you have your acceptance, start researching the country or countries where you will reside or visit. Learn cultural cues and language norms, recognizing that you must fit into their country. Research what you need to pack, line up luggage, and most importantly, make sure your passport is valid and will not expire during your stay overseas. It takes months to acquire a passport, so don't wait till the last minute. Learn the language well. Not all programs require language skills, and Semester at Sea lands in many ports with various languages. However, knowing enough about each language to keep you polite and demonstrating a willingness to try, it's important. Your last bit of preparation needs to be to attend or watch any meetings scheduled by the host organization or the school you will be attending. The information presented will be helpful as you prepare to leave home for new cultures and prospects. They have a demonstrated history of making students study abroad experiences successful. Use their information. Finally, choose what is best for you, not what everyone else is doing. There is no best or perfect study abroad experience. There is the opportunity that offers you education, new involvements, and the chance to see the world. Travel the world, open yourself to new educational approaches, and have fun. Study abroad experiences are worth the time and effort. If you found any of this information useful, hit the like button or consider subscribing. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments below.